and start now. Uh, last time we went through the water temple. Um... Uh, we did, uh, well, we mostly went through the ice cavern. Uh, I showed off, like, a couple of the ice caverns mechanics. I talked about how, like, the ice cavern was supposed to be, like, the water, the actual water temple. But I guess they changed it during, uh, development. Um... Uh, I'm also, uh... It's been a while since I did, you know, like I streamed, so my brain is kind of bright, I apologize. But, uh, yeah, just went through the water temple, essentially. Nothing big. Got a little confused, because this is where I start getting rusty. Uh, because usually when I'm playing the randomizer, I'm not, um, doing water temple at all. Not that I don't like water temple, like, I can't, like... Severely confused. I just get a tiny bit confused. That being said, I'm just gonna head uh, over to Kakariko, and since it's not that far away, I'm not gonna bother getting my horse. I think I left my horse here, anyways. I don't know if that transfer is over. Nah, the horse horse ain't here. So, uh, when you have the forest fire in, uh, water medallions and you return to Kakariko, this cutscene plays out. You look, it's chic. Get back, Isakar. Looks like you're coming around. Isagar, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of Kakariko Village, had sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong the seal of the well broke and it escaped into the world. I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she will be in danger without any help. Isagar, Impa is one of the six sages. Destroy this evil Shadow Spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard behind this uh, village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the Shadow Temple. This is a melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the Nocturne of Shadow. Oops, that's my controller again. Come on, stick. I still haven't fixed my, uh, controller.
you have learned the Nocturne of Shadow. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Isidar. Let me see if I can fix this controller real quick. See if that works for a while. It should work. Um, so, going into the, um, Shadow Temple right now would not be a good idea. So we're gonna make a small little detour. I just wanted the warp song anyways. I need to go here though. I need to buy some arrows. I got money, so. It should be. How many nuts do I have? And I'll buy a little more. There's a little item that we need before we can go into the Shadow Temple that will make it uh, a lot easier in the Shadow Temple. But in order to do that, we need to return to, uh, back to being a kid. song warps you to this ledge that you normally can't get any other way but getting the music. the song of storms as an adult oh we played it for this guy as a kid Drained, we can now explore the bottom of the well. I keep 
can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the Eye of Truth. That's what they are saying. You go through some of these walls, they'll lead you to, um... Some chests. Um, you can see the uh, when I play the randomizer, I go through bottom of the wall a lot because of some chests that it has. It has a lot of um, different chests here. Watch for the shadows of the monsters that hang from the ceiling. Same hint that we got in the forest temple. The wall, the wall masters are back. So go through that wall. In this chest, you'll get the compass. It's kind of weird seeing the compass before the map, huh? Um. Forget, I always forget where exactly the wall is. Um, there's a hole here, and it'll fall you, throw you down here. Not really gonna bother killing him. The waste of his stick. And here is the uh, dungeon map. The silver silver rupees are here as well. So you bring up those. many more um, chests in these dungeons, but the, funny enough, all these items in the in this dungeon are useless. Play uh, Zelda's lullaby here to drain the water. And we'll head to the boss of the this little mini dungeon. Why did he spawn there? Well, there's your boss. Dead here. There's a certain frame that you can attack him again before he digs. To be a lot of damage again. It's used in speedrunning mostly. I'm 
gonna be out of sticks soon. That's okay. Fun fact, this one used to make me scared as a kid. Still unnerving. And your reward for beating him? The Lens of Truth. That completed, now we return back to, um, heading to the Shadow Temple. to access um, the Shadow Temple. You see all these torches? Well, all these torches have to be lit. Um, there is a very... not really helpful hint, but there is an image of the fire medallion here um, telling you that you need to use fire. You can light these up if you want with all the fi with fire arrows, but these torches go out so fast, so it's more effective to just use dense fire. And uh, now that we don't need it anymore, we're just going to switch back to the hookshot for now. The shadow will uh, will yield only the one um, will yield only to the one with the iron truth handed down in Kakariko Village. Okay. Uh, so this dungeon requires a lot of use of the iron truth to find your path. As you can see, this wall disappears when you use it. And this is the one, this is the right path over this way. One who gains the Eye of Truth will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. Shadow Temple, here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. You know, it's supposed to like be showing like like hiding the path too, but like these skulls aren't lit. This skull is makes it easy to find your way around. But it's hidden in the darkness. Tricks full of ill will. You can't see the way forward. Oh, there's this guy. Again. But did you know this? Use the eye of truth. Um, there he is. If you use the Eye of Truth, you see a shadow here. i place a bomb right here. And look, he pops up. 
Don't want to be grabbed by the hands? Find him with the eye tricks. I'm just gonna do it this way. Eh, I was too late. There he is. Being cool isn't working. Thanks for the magic. And in this chest... With these mysterious boots, you can hover above the ground. The downside? No traction. You can even use these to walk short periods where there is no solid ground. Be brave and trust in the boots. Trust in the heart of the boots. Um... I'm just gonna go ahead and keep the boots on. I'm used to keeping them on anyways. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Those eyes sparkled for a second and it scared the crap out of me. I, my heart jumped for a second. Um, you want to find the stat- uh, the- pole that has the uh, skull on it. Make my beak face the skull of truth. The alternative is to descend into the deep darkness. Remember, there was this one, so open the door. But if it, if you're not comfortable remembering, you can always just keep the lens of truth on when you're pushing the statue. And that's why traction, uh, having no traction sucks. Uh, let's try actually aiming at the door this time. Instead of like zigzagging on earth on the open pit. Oh boy, give those. the um, sun song to stun them just like re-deads but I just like uh I just like burning them I should have kept uh lens of truth on actually there's the compass oh right I forgot there's actually one more room back there. That's where the dungeon map was. I usually bypass it because... Uh, 
I usually bypass it because I really don't need it for this dungeon, but it, it would be helpful. Show where I'm going. Partially because I also forgot where it was. Yep. Thanks. Now I use the map. also a fake wall. I, I want to conserve my magic, so just tell you that's a fake wall. Um, in here. Don't worry, those sites will only just damage you. They're not going to actually cut your head off. They're like insta-kill you, so... see me. That ain't good. This one needs, uh, two of them. The bee mouse needs, like, two bums. Now, this is a real wall. A real fake wall. If you need to, there's, um, if you play the Song of Storms here, a fairy comes out. I do not believe you can pick it up, but nope, you can't pick it up, but you can run into it for a full haul. Don't ask me how it's raining inside the dungeon. dark this dungeon is. Actually dark and having guillotines. Fun fact, those, uh, she, uh, those uh, wall masters only exist in that one little corner. Okay, maybe they go a little farther, but 
Like after a certain bit, after this part of the room, they just stop. We're also gonna ignore that guy and just go over this way. You just roll into that Beemos for the um, for the Rupee because the Rupee has a pretty big uh, collision detection. That's usually what I do. It saves a bomb. Plus, Beemos only hurt when you get like a laser in the face. Spike platform to raise, and then you push it along very carefully. What you want to do is you want to push it enough that it gets both of these platforms, and then you push it backwards like this, or pull it backwards to the west side of the room. So you don't, because uh, if you get under those spikes, they will instantly void you out of the room and you take damage. Success! <laughs> uh, hello, hexadecimal. It's a blue rupee only. I'm, just, I, I'm, I'm running on randomizer brain. When you play a randomizer too much, you expect it to be like vanilla. Oh, that emote is cute. Oh, that's so cute. like a little dragon. At least from what I can see. How are you doing today? If you play randomizer, you expect everything to be frost traps. Not gonna lie, it's truth. Basically, this dungeon is essentially use the eye of truth every time. Uh, I really don't want to deal with um, re-deads. I thought it was in that chest. It's kind of an insult. the one that was up there. What? It's about there. Okay, maybe it wasn't about there. See, folks, this is why he used the iron truth. I 
remember. If I can point blank, I can't even hit it. Ooh, arrows. Gimme, 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 gimme. No, my arrows. Throw in there. There's also a gold sculpture if you want it. Why do I see sun in here? Thanks, emulator. Oh yeah, this room. Those, uh... Uh... Those fans are gonna blow you away. If, especially if you have hover boots on, so... Change to iron boots. They can't do nothing. Now you might want to think that you should use the, um, hover boots to cross this. Eh. Got a board up here. I just look shot. I'm gonna use this. I don't remember this room too well, so I'm just gonna walk here. Oh, good. I read it. Oh, good. Two redeads. Here, I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Those who have the sacred feet should let the wind guide them. Then they should be led to the hidden path. That's what they are saying. Oh, thanks. So, it's gonna, um... I was talking about that hidden path right there. I'd be like, uh, give those, because they're still here. thing is, that was in the real chest that we were supposed to open. The real one's right down here. There's the key. Seek 
scared feet. Did I say secret? I meant sacred. Darn speech impediment. alive uh. now you can fight the stall post if you want to or you can just like stand back here and uh They eventually just fall off. Bye. There's only two of them. So now it's literally literally smooth sailing. But X. I am elite hackers. I made Stolfo skull fall. Boom. <laughs> And we're just gonna fall down here. There's a guy, the ship is seeking abandoned ship. Get onto the safe, pla safe platform. Okay. I'm safe, don't worry. I've been like here for like 10 seconds. Now in this room, I hate this room. What you don't know is this the mates. So. You wanna go to the south and the south and north rooms? Get over here. I don't like Ah oh, shit, it only got it only got two. Nope, 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 Eat fireball. Those things grab you, they turn back into the big one. And multiply. to the north room. Oh no, we're gonna be squished. And that one only the fireballs only reach that one, or Din's fire only reaches that one. Wait, the other one has magic. I need more magic. Give me more magic. Uh, 
the bus key. We can get to the bus. When I was a little kid, I used to think you would need fire arrows for this, but nay, nah, you just need to piss off one of the bomb flowers here. I can't hit. I can't aim. Any aim. I like that emote. Fee Coco is cute. Or Foy Coco, how, however you pronounce it. Best Pokemon, too adorable. Yeah. Should probably take those boots off right now because they'll be more of a hindrance. It's a fan of Shadow Beast Bongo Bongo. <laughs> Timing on that was great. Sometimes he'll ram his fist at you. Man. Thanks. So basically, you just hit his hands. I'm gonna die. Only, um, I forgot to mention it, but his eye only opens when his two hands are uh, stunned by the arrows. Hey, eleven hearts. Boy with noble Zelda Zakarina, as I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker, and I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. 
Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the sacred realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. Well, next I saw you. As we made her escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Soon you will meet Princess Zelda face to face and she will explain everything. That is we, when we, the six wise ones, will seal, seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. And I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. You receive the Shadow Medallion. Impa awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Please look out for the princess. And that's it for the Shadow Temple. Um, now we're going to move on to going to the Spirit Temple.